nice and lovely guys so we want to make you a uh, lovely comment purge I did comment purge many times you know me and chef I got all this I have to remind my fans them say look after yourself and stay healthy at home anyway I have roughly half cups of caramel because I'm not gonna make a lot of caramel porridge just half cups of caramel inside of it roughly about eight ounces you can see that's a roughly half cups of caramel just to make the fans them not to be confused and right here I have a glass of water this glass of water right here I'm gonna put it straight inside of the pot in the meantime because as I said, I'm not making a lot of caramel porridge. Just a little bit of caramel porridge I'm going to be making. All right, so I turn on my stove with the water in the pot. This one, all I'm going to do is pour some, car some milk on it. Um, roughly half glass of milk. And use my whisk and just give it a nice lovely whisk like this. All right, that is out the way. Next thing, I've been using my grater for my nut and egg right here. As you can see, you can get the one in the shop which already grated. Yeah, and I have Jamaican vanilla. You can put a little pinch of cinnamon and some sweet condensed milk. All of these ingredients are going to be nice and lovely. So basically what I'm going to do, what I'm doing at the moment is, is just put in some coconut milk. This is the black part of the coconut. The reason why it, it looks so like, like this, because I put the coconut in my fridge. <laughs> so it just gets hard up, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm just putting a little bit of coconut milk in it. And you can do the same thing also guys. Put some coconut milk inside of the porridge. Inside of the water. Bring a lovely flavor to it. Nice one. Then what we're going to do now, the cornmeal, we're just going to add the cornmeal because just like this. As I said, not, I'm not making a lot, just a little bit. Give it a quick start. And they're gonna see, just take your time and start to farm until it gets thick. Or good Jamaican food, call me a porridge. Most people like to have this on a Saturday morning. Nice, look at that. So you get thick up, but what you can do is just add a little bit of water. It's fine. You know what I mean? In Jamaica, we used to use cornmeal and water mixed porridge. See, look at my England, we start to use milk. Add a little bit more water. Still rich and look good, see how we A little bit more water. That's the beauty when you're making porridge, you know. Yeah, and you can carry it this way because when it's too runny, you can't carry it. But when it's like this, you're easy to carry it. Nice and lovely, guys. So, basically, it's been cooking for the last 12 minutes now. So, what we're going to do, put my favorite stuff that I like to put in my Jamaican porridge. First thing is some um, nut egg, grated one, just a little pinch, and that's just bringing a, a lovely flavor to the porridge. Um, just a pinch of cinnamon, not too much, because cinnamon is very strong. Just a tiny pinch, you don't need too much. Can look at that nice porridge look good already really lovely um vanilla 
is a must. Tablespoon of vanilla. Bring a lovely flavor to it. Look at that. Beautiful. And then we going to put just a little pinch of salt, not too much. We don't want to salt the porridge. Too much salt doesn't good for you. Two things. You can either use brown sugar or you can use some sweet condensed milk to sweeten your porridge. If you like to use whatever you like to use guys is no problem you can use anything you like to use to sweeten your con your comet porridge but um I got some sweet condensed milk which I want to use up and I'm going to sweeten just like this by adding a little bit and then we're going to taste it See all that rich looking lovely and nice, and that's exactly what you want to see. That's the reason why I love to use this kind of pot because I can use my wire whisk in it. Nice one. Then the base thing is to taste it to see how sweet it is and how salt it is. A joke. Hmm. <laughs> Perfect. I swear. This is perfect. Nothing else. If you put anything else in it, it's gonna be spoiled. So it's good to sweeten it and taste as it goes along. Cause you don't wanna put too much sweet enough, too much milk, and I'm too much salt. Too nice and lovely. So basically, if it's a little bit too thick, you can always add a little bit of milk or a little bit of water. To make it just look nice and lovely so basically we can shear out this lovely porridge now and, and I want to say it doesn't take long to cook roughly about everything will be said 20 minutes the least you know what I mean and it's just amazing it's good to have this in the morning for breakfast or if you want to have it in the evening for dinner it's also enjoy the recipe and please leave your comments it's very important and lovely just shear out that's lovely beautiful comment part you guys as you can see big ball of it so hopefully you just enjoy the recipe and subscribe the channel please leave your comments below very important for sure